As I record this video, it is the early morning hours of January 20th, 2023. It was just learned that in the late hours of yesterday, the judge on the case for the University of Idaho, Idaho for Tragedy and Murders, placed an even stricter gag order on all of the people that have to follow the gag order, anyone who is an officer of the court. So that's going to be the attorneys on the case, the tangential um, attorneys on the case, and a number of people that are under the rule of the court, they can't speak boo about anything having to do with this case, is the reason why the reporting of People Magazine's Steve Helling, who has covered a number of topics on the University of Idaho tragedy. Steve Helling learned that on at least two occasions, Brian Koberger ordered vegan pizza from the Mad Greek restaurant, the same restaurant where Zana Kernodal, age 20, and Madison Mogan, age 21, were servers while they were attending school at University of Idaho. As you can see from the pictures here, the Mad Greek restaurant was not a large restaurant. It's a rather small and intimate dining location. So the question is, what interaction did Brian Koberger have with Zana Kernodal and Maddie Mogan? Here's the article from People Magazine by Steve Helling. Thank you, Steve Helling, for all the coverage you've done in this case. The headline says, Idaho suspect Brian Koberger visited a restaurant where two victims worked at least twice before killings. According to a former employee at the Mad Creek restaurant in Moscow, Idaho, Brian Koberger came in at least twice to grab vegan pizza. And the article is, of course, by Steve Helling. In the weeks before the slayings of the four University of Idaho students last November, the man now accused of killing them allegedly ate at the restaurant where two of the victims worked. According to a former employee at the Mad Greek restaurant in Moscow, Idaho, Brian Koberger came in at least twice to grab vegan pizza. Two of the victims, Madison Mogan and Zana Kernodal, were servers at the restaurant. It's unclear if either woman ever waited on Koberger or if they interacted, but people confirms that a now deleted account that appeared to belong to Koberger once followed both Mogan and Kernodal on Instagram, along with a third female victim, Kelly Gonsalves. People has also confirmed via an investigator familiar with the case that law enforcement is aware of the restaurant visits and that investigators have interviewed employees and the owners of the Mad Greek. They've also collected surveillance video from the restaurant and surrounding businesses. The former employee tells people that there was nothing suspicious about Koberger's visits to the Mad Greek and that he only stood out because he had a particular order, a strict vegan, Koberger would check to make sure that his food had not come into contact with animal products. Now, from the many reports that we've heard from people that knew Koberger, he was a strict vegan, and a report from his aunt told the world that one of the weird things about Brian Koberger was that he would not eat food that was even cooked in pans that had touched meat. So when he was at her house, the request was, you know, that they had pans that meat was never cooked on, and they had to buy all new pans. One of the many strange things about Koberger's. Other people that knew Koberger, that worked with him, that were friends with him along the way, also said that he was a strict vegan for at least a period of time. So this makes a connection between Koberger and at least two of the roommates. Many have speculated about the various social media accounts, the Facebook posts that some people think was Koberger that revealed a lot about what happened in detail the night of the tragedy, the Papa Rogers account, the Reddit account. There have been so many different social media accounts that have caused people to wonder, 
is this Brian Koberger? It sounds an awful lot alike like him. He seems to be defending the person who committed these egregious crimes. And well, this People Magazine article by Steve Helling gives those speculations a great deal of credibility, in my mind at least. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think. I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this. Justice for Maddie, Kelly, Zana, and Ethan, and we hope for nothing but peace eventually for their families.